few more rocks reporting from down under. Um, well, it looks as though uh, Hurricane Dorian is hitting uh, hard in the Bahamas, and uh, I've just been looking at my Twitter feed, and I just looked at this, and it kind of it one place has been singled out as a um, for a hurricane watch, and that is Port Saint Lucie. And I was wondering, I thought I've heard that before, and yes, indeed, I have. The thing no one is talking about. This is FPL St. Lucie nuclear power plant, and I'm going to zoom out real quick and show you where this is. It's on the island. It's way out, right on the ocean. This is Port St. Lucie. This is the Bahamas. Right here. If that thing's a Category 5 plus, and it comes through and it smacks just north of the Bahamas, and it comes into Port St. Lucie, right here, and hits that nuclear power plant, you know, they said that Fukushima was prepared for all contingencies. Vero Beach, this area, you know, compared to what's south of it, it's not very heavily populated, but it's got a nuclear power plant. And guys, I don't know if that, it was built in 1968. So it's not a super, super modern one. The place that you have to worry about listening for is Hutchinson Island. This is where this nuclear power plant is. Now, I haven't heard anybody talk about this yet. Somebody may have, but I think it's it bears looking into. If a Category 5 plus would strike this old nuclear power plant, could we have another Fukushima on our hands? Brief. I just had a brief look, and I did find this report from the 30th of August. Uh, St. Lucie uh, nuclear power plant uh, down during uh, Hurricane Dorian. Um, so when 130 to 156 mile per hour winds are in the forecast, and of course the reality has been uh, even been faster, uh, a nuclear power plant may not come to mind as a safe place to be. But you might be surprised, John Wetzel said, yeah. Uh, a nuclear power plant is built to withstand all sorts of natural and man-made disasters, yeah, just like Fukushima was, yeah? That's right. As some of the most robust parts of the infrastructure in the United States, despite being rusty and old and far, far uh, beyond their, their use by date. Uh, so they were organizing to cease operations. Um, the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission requires nuclear reactors to shut down in the presence of hurricane force winds 74 miles per hour, the minimum category for a Category 1 storm or stronger. So, uh, oh, there we are. Uh, we just need to wait to see what the news brings. Uh, this is Seymour Rocks, um, uh, very concerned from the other side of the world.